Look, you know I'm pro crypto, but I gotta share a few stories with you. And Halloween is coming up, which also means there's a stellar event coming up. Let's leave this screen. And going to this one, XLM is gonna highlight today's video, sitting at 11.3 cents, up 0.42% last 24 hours. Now, a broader look across the market, Bitcoin, 20,600, ETH, 1553. Remember, Jerome Powell and the Fed coming out November 2nd, most likely a 75 basis point hit. Is this the pre-market pump up into that? Are we gonna see the market rally thinking, hey, the worst is behind us? Interesting, keep your eyes tuned. All right, let's get onto this stuff. And don't worry, I will have that stellar story for you. Fishing scammer monkey drainer steals 1 million crypto in the past 24 hours using a phishing method to exploit some wallet action here monkey drainer stole about 700 ether roughly 1 million in the last 24 hours and now moving on to another one another DeFi company becomes victim of a hack this happened today everyone team finance suffered a 14.5 million dollar exploit in relation to a smart contract bug in its migration feature and remember stellar is going to be moving to smart contracts. They're deploying $100 million in offer to work into that ecosystem to get all this stuff worked on out before it goes live. Anyways, back to story. We have temporarily paused all activity through team finance until we are certain this exploit has been remedied. More details to follow. And remember, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. That's the second one. How about a third for a UV token hacked for one point four five million and again these are all stories that broke today an incident occurred on the bnb chain on thursday morning around 1 a.m as noted by security firms ancilia and peck shield here is the tweet for uv tokens wallet bam there you go uv token acknowledged the exploit saying that its staking project was attacked it's currently working with security teams to investigate the exploit Oh my gosh. So now we go on to this one. Cryptocurrency trading firm shut down after scamming investor. Company named as part of the Praetorian Group International Trading Inc., which has been shut down by U.S. authorities. Despite conflicting accounts of the company's trading activity provided by two former directors, it appears the main business activity conducted by PGI was the sale and purchase of crypto. But here is where it gets grosso. Investors were promised returns of up to two hundred percent but when these did not materialize i wonder why investors were unable to withdraw the funds they had invested so scam schemes hacks and all that let's go big screen crazy isn't it and those are just the few stories that i found this morning nut stuff we're gonna get into the stellar thing but i want to talk with something about you first can crypto, can Web3 and all this, can, can, can you really see this going forward en masse when we have all these hacks and exploits? It, it's, I mean, it just seems like there's just too many of them. We don't see these issues with the traditional financial system. Now, here's the deal. I am super pro crypto, super pro Web3. The problem is I think a lot of these programs were rushed. There's bugs, there's bad code, lazy code, whatever you want to call it. They're getting exploited. They're paying bounties to these people, further incentivizing it. It's total mess, everyone. Let's get into the stellar story. So I went with the red background on this video to kind of go with the scary, spooky Halloween theme. I, my, my stellar story is not scary, spooky, but it does happen on Halloween. Oh, the quarter three review is going to be happening in that date. Yep, everyone, join us Monday, October 31st, 12 p.m. Eastern Time for a presentation of Stellar Development Foundation's quarter in review. They're going to be going over the big things in Meridian. Maybe they're going to be going over UNHCR. Doubt it, but maybe maybe if you know what i'm talking about right there comment down below yeah nodi crypto coming out there with a big banger but yep stellar is having quarter three review i will have the details linked for this in the description below very excited here to see because again they're going to be covering meridian they're going to be covering all of the new partnerships like wire x was just announced okay so i know i know that's not third quarter but it was just announced so you're going to be talking reviews that happen in third quarter things that are happening in the fourth quarter and big events that are coming up. Are you going to be watching this? And should we have a discussion after this? What do you guys think? The reason I wanted to tie in that quarter three event to those stories earlier all has to do with Stellar launching Sorban and smart contracts. Most of the hacks that you're hearing about on this channel, right on all those exploits, they're smart contract related, everyone. And now that Stellar is doing that with Sorban, is that going to be Stellar opening themselves up to that can of worms right there? Or are they doing it right with their $100 million program? 
program that they're entering to make Soroban work better before it goes live. That's a lot of money to be thrown at it, but hey, makes sense because think of all these hacks and exploits that are happening and they're paying the bounties on it. Stellar's quarter three review, are you attending? Interesting, let me know. It's happening on Halloween, so I wonder if they'll be dressing up. Thank you very much for watching. Check out this cool Crypto Web 3 video right here. I will catch you all great people later.